All right, uh, good morning. We're getting ready to uh, change this turn light socket on this boat. Uh, when you have out in the salt water and stuff, they corrode and, you know, the last thing I want is when I start, when I get out there and I'm ready to uh, turn on my lights for them not to work. And, you know, it's, it's a major safety issue. So, anyhow, um, let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how I'm doing it. Alright, to go ahead and take this socket off of here. You can see how corroded it is. Let's see if you can see this. I don't know if you... See how corroded that is in there? Okay. Well, I got my new piece here. I got the old one off. And, uh... I did move this into the shade. It's just a little bit warm out today. And now, uh, see if I can open this without cutting myself. Okay. What I've done is I've, uh, I've went ahead and I've run new wire all the way from the front to the back. And I'm going to put this on here. I'm not going to bed it down with the uh, 5200 or anything on there. Uh, because uh, I see from past that this has had some different uh, um, style here. And it's got a couple of screw holes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill these out and epoxy them in. I see if you're going to put this on the bow, you position it this way, so obviously, so the light aims forward. If you're going to push it on the stern, you put it this way, so the light faces to the back. But we're going to go ahead and mount this. And uh, I got some regular heat shrink uh, marine fittings, right, or butt connectors right here. So let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and install those. And this is new marine wire. I mean, it's all marine stuff. It's that wire needs trimmed just a little bit. It's bottoming out, and it's still got quite a bit of wire hanging out. All right. Here we go. Much better. Hmm. Let's see if those are polarity sensitive. I don't not see any. I don't think it would be polarity sensitive because the bulb has got double contacts on the bottom, and this has got double contacts, so it probably doesn't matter which way you go. So we're going to go with this way.
There we go. I'm going to go ahead and mount this in here for now. And like I said, I'm not going to bat it down because I will take it back off. But uh, I want to uh, mix up epoxy and fill up the holes. But I've got over different places, It's been things have been mounted on this boat. When I do it, I want to be ready to do a bunch of them and just drill them out. And... Uh, But I wanted to go ahead and get this on there because I'm just as apt to take and, and uh, run the boat down the water. And, and like I said, not only do I want it to be Coast Guard approved, I want to make sure that if I need my lights, they're going to work. Don't want to over tighten these and strip them out. Just snug them down. Like I said, once I drill them and rebed it and all that, and I'm, I'll probably even need these holes here, I'll go ahead and re-drill those a little larger, fill them with epoxy, and then uh, drill in the center of the epoxy so the, the screw is not, even if the screw was out, the water would not get on the uh, end of the wood. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you can, support us on Patreon, and, and I look forward to bringing you the next video. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.